Welcome to part 7 of my DIY backyard project. If you have missed the previous progress, check them out in the description. If you are planning to build a deck by yourself, I am pretty sure you will want to watch this. This time, we are getting to build something exciting. I am showing you how I built a custom pergola on the deck. The first question you may ask is, do I need a permit? If you have seen part 4 of this series, you know the answer already. I did not need a permit. But the building inspector came and took some photos and measured the height. Everything passed. Next question is, do I need footings for the pergola? It all depends on your local building code and the height of your deck. For our local bylaw, they don't care as long as the pergola does not have a solid roof. Let's take a look at this cedar pergola from Home Depot. Cost you around 4000 Canadian with tax. The weight is something that I want you to pay attention to. It's around 600 pounds. Honestly, it's not that heavy, but does it mean you can install this on your deck? Well, it depends. Let's do some calculations. This is the worst case scenario that I am using 6x6x12 by by for the post. At 125 pounds each, I have 5 of them, it comes to 625 pounds. Now there are some 2 by 10 by 16 at the top. 10 of them, total weight is 600 pounds. So the grand total is 1,225 pounds. If I attach this to the deck, each post on average will get around 245 pounds each. Carriage bows are strong enough to handle that if you have done your deck frame properly. Because there is no solid roof in winter time, there is no need to worry about additional weight for the snow. If you have footings for each post for the pergola, it is definitely overkill. What I'm more worried about is the wind more than the weight. In our area, strong wind can gust up to 100 to 120 km per hour. I will show you how I secure the post to the deck. Enough talking, let's do some work. I needed to notch this 6x6 post so that I can put a 2x tent on top. This is how I did it. For your satisfaction, I am going to shut up for a moment and let you watch. This is not as crazy as those Japanese carpenters you saw it on YouTube, but for Dak, this is pretty okay. I am pretty proud of myself because I am not a pro, I am just a DIYer. Okay, let's attach them to the Dak. There is a DIY tips I want to share with you. Fresh and treated wood, especially 4x4 and 6x6 posts, they will twist and crack when they dry. You need to install them as soon as you can. Couple of days to a week is okay. 
But if you don't secure them together for a month or two, you will regret. I am using this Fasten Master Hat Locked Screws. This one is 6 inches long. They are very strong screws, similar to GRK RSS. Let's check it out. There is no footings for the pergola. It's all attached to the flush beam of the deck. My wife never involved in the DIY project, except when I need opinion on color. Indeed, I am glad she did not help at all. Some friends or neighbors saying I was crazy. How did I get the 2x10 up there by myself? Here is how. I used quick clamp to secure a piece of wood so that I can put the 2x10 on top of that post. Now, for the other side, I used a piece of scrap wood to hold the board. Your guess is right, you slowly slide it down little by little. There you go, not too difficult at all. Time to install half an inch carriage bolt. It is 12 inches in length. I think you got the idea. Next, you want to install blockings around the 6x6 post. You need to secure it so that it won't move a bit. I have to agree, this is bad for drainage, but it works. This is another piece of blocking. You insert it here and put tons of screws to secure it. I told you, I love GRK RSS screws. I am using carriage bolt for the top part of the pergola. If I had to do this again, I would not use carriage bolts on this. Yes, it is strong, but you have this ugly thing at the end, you need to cover it up. It is completely waste of my time. Because one piece of 2x10 is not bolt enough. I am installing a cosmetic board using construction glue and the deck screws. This 6 inches timber lock is designed for rafters to use. It is perfect for me to drive it in at 45 degrees angle.
a cosmetic point of view, I don't like this 45 degrees brazing. In modern pergola design, this is ugly in my opinion. But I am a structural first person, this makes a huge difference in terms of stability. Now, this is the fifth post of the pergola, the divider. This post will go to the back. There are two purposes. First, it acts as a privacy screen to block the neighbors at the back. Secondly, it is used as a top divider so that I can install the retractable shade in the future. The middle divider has been installed. For this end, I am using the double joist hangers. For the other side, of course, it will be sitting on the 6x6 post. It looks very solid, eh? And at the back, I am using a metal bracket. This is how it looks from upstairs. Looking good. I got the black color plastic privacy screen from the local hardware store. I am still debating on how I should install them. Time to let nature do the work. We need to test it under the storm. One last DIY tips I want to share with you. This is how I transport the 6x6 post using a releasable cable tie and a hand truck. Look, it's so easy. Don't hurt your back. I hope this video helps if you want to build a pergola on your deck. Give it a thumbs up if you think there is some good information in there. Next time, deck boards were delivered, and we will start to install them. If you love DIY and want to see the progress of this project, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.